What impact could a one cent sales tax increase have on six metro cities? KCCI's Bo Bowman asked a local economist. He explains what you need to know before you head to the polls on Tuesday. Tuesday, March 5th, Des Moines voters will decide on a one cent sales tax increase from six to seven cents per dollar. If passed, it is expected to bring $36 million into Des Moines every year and millions of dollars to West Des Moines, Windsor Heights, Pleasant Hill, Altoona, and Alamon. So it's a tax that really shares the burden versus just you know the residential or the commercial property tax holders within the city of Des Moines. Local economist Eric Lohmeyer says the tax makes sense because a lot of visitors use Des Moines services but don't pay for them. The way I look at it is it's almost like a use tax. You know, it's almost like a, a fractional little toll, and it's going to allow us to essentially pay, pay less. Half of the $36 million would be used as property tax relief. So as the sales tax goes up, property taxes go down. But Lohmeyer says the average homeowner's bottom line won't see a significant change. I'd say on average it's probably going to be a wash. However, some metro residents are concerned about the tax hike. It falls unfavorably more on the disadvantaged of our community. Uh, whether that you be disadvantaged uh, economically and or if you're on a fixed income. Anything you have to have done to your car in regard to service type work is going to be subject to a sales tax. But that hasn't stopped 97% of Iowa communities from passing the extra penny sales tax. Now, other than the property tax relief, all six communities plan to use the remaining revenue to improve city streets, sewers, and public safety resources. If passed, the sales tax would go into effect July 1st.